Hi and welcome to my channel. So on this video, I'm going to some to give you some advices about uh, preparing your iDevice for sale. So uh, first of all, you have to complete all the stuff and accessories you advertised for sale. In this case, we got uh, original box, charger, cable, and iPad itself. So first of all, you you should make sure that the uh, iPad is fully working there shouldn't be any issues check all the buttons like uh, in here we got a lock button screen lock button okay it works check the volume button you should connect it as well to the to the charger check if it's charging okay in this case it was charging and I advise you to charge it fully before in sale okay so in case of accessories, I I'm giving away also this this crappy crappy cover in a pretty creepy condition. Okay, so also make sure everything's in the the box that should be there. In this case, we have uh, instruction manual. Some kind of leaflets, okay. So let's go to our iPad itself. We just need to restart the software so it will be ready for sale, and the new user should be able to put his own, uh, own iCloud account. And, and you should unlock the iPads from the iCloud lock, whatever it's named. So let's go into the settings. Then general and scroll down in the very last ends you get a reset button, yeah. Click here. And uh, of course you have many options, but you have to find the factory settings, okay? So we got resell all settings, reset all settings, rails, all content and settings, reset network settings, keyboard dictionary, home screen layout, and location and privacy. So we want to reset everything. So first let's erase everything, yeah. Put the passwords. It, it will ask you if you want to erase it. Erase. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Then you have to put your Apple ID password. I can't really show it to you. Okay, once you put the password, click erase. It will take a while. And iPad will be restored to the factory settings. Okay, interesting thing is if you updated iPad to the newest iOS, it will it will start from the last iOS updated. So if you updated to iOS 8, it will start from iOS 8. If you updated iOS 9, it will start from iOS 9. In uh, this particular case, iPad was running on iOS 9.3. So the new user will have the latest system. Hopefully he will be happy. Because there are some bugs and cons but overall it works great well while we're doing it we should find some kind of cleaning cloth and uh, clean clean that stuff unfortunately I, I lost somewhere the cloth I can't really find it I can use maybe this woolen sweater yeah 
so the presentation will be nice as well yeah yeah it's it's much better i can say that so i will be back in a while once it's restarted okay so it's restarted now it took around three minutes and uh, we got some invitation what language is it and that was i guess polish now we got uh, german english spanish so the user will just swipe it choose the language and uh, go with the flow one other thing uh, one other thing is uh, if it's possible try to sell it in public place if you're selling at home uh, of course you have to clean your house and uh, write down the email number of your device just in case of Freud or something you know and uh, write down the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi password in your home if you're selling at home so the person who's buying it can check it if it's uh, really iPads you know so hope it will help and thank you for watching enjoy your day